Money in the Bank is officially over and what a show it was. But did WWE make the right call on the men's winner? Here's three reasons why LA Knight should have lost in Money in the Bank. Number one, Damian Priest was just the better fit timing and storyline wise. Now I did say if LA Knight didn't win, Priest was the next best choice because he already has been in a title picture and this also serves as a great way to create more tension between Priest and Finn Balor, seeing as the writing on the wall is he's going to be leaving the Judgment Day. Now, Damian faced Seth Rollins about a month ago, and just like when Finn showed up ringside during his match, Priest also showed up during Finn's match against Seth. Now, I felt strongly that if LA Knight lost, whoever won was going to be in a bad position because the crowd was going to turn against them because they wanted LA Knight to win. But I do think Priest is the only exception, and that's because Priest already has had matches at WrestleMania. He's had a US title reign before, whereas LA Knight hasn't held the mid-card title just yet. Also, there is his recent involvement with the World Heavyweight Championship from previous matches, so it makes him winning more logical, and I can actually live with that. Now, speaking on that route to the top, this brings me to my next point, which is we don't need to push him too fast if we strap the rocket to his back too fast there's so much lost potential of creating a legendary career and we can be skipping a lot of steps such as a solid mid-card title run to build a future superstar the way they used to and make the rise to the top a more credible one now he should have the classic route of you know winning the u.s title winning money in the bank if they had king of the ring him winning winning king of the ring but i think the more realistic approach is in somewhere in the next six months he definitely should take the belt from Austin Theory and become the new US champion. He can have a great title reign, and then from there, we can move on. Now, the titles have been meaning a lot more lately as they don't change hands every two months like they used to. And who's to say he won't be ready for a win at Money in the Bank next year? People try to say he's old, but you do know he's the same age as Damian Priest, right? So a year is not that long of a wait for his Money in the Bank moment. And lastly, him losing makes us root for him even more. Everybody wanted LA Knight to win. And when we saw that he wasn't going to win, a lot of the talk was mostly about him losing and he should have won, which kind of gives me a sense of Daniel Bryan's desire for him to win will become much stronger and he can become a super mega star and it'll only be heightened by this loss. So the yeah movement is real and him losing only makes it even stronger. So even though my heart said LA Knight should have won, I can live with the decision and who knows, we might get a yeah mania next year. Yeah. What do you guys think about the Money in the Bank win? Let me know in the comments and I will see you back in the ring. Thanks for watching.